Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm about to schedule a haircut for myself. You got a problem with that? Too bad. And also, we're probably just going to take your boy, Mox Ruby. All right. All right. I'm going to highlight this Mox Ruby while I schedule this haircut, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the clap and the hand clapping emote and be like cut them hairs, and then we're gonna get a haircut. Cut them hairs. Okay, let's see if that elicits a response. Mox Ruby, powered up. Mm. That's not enough juice. That is not enough juice. This pack sucks. Crater Hoof's good. Let's do Crater Hoof. We haven't done the Crater Hoof deck yet. Yeah, it's definitely Crater Hoof. You'd have a Yavin My Elder into Wall of Roots. Yeah, I'd have a Yavin My Elder if I took it over the Mox Ruby into Wall of Roots. Oh, you're saying if we took the lower right card? Oh, what up, Fritzy boy? It's your Fritzy boy. Fritzy, you gotta go to work or are you hanging out today? What's the deal? What's the plan, my man? Is it Garrick? Is it Taiga? Is it Elves of Deep Shadow? Garrick. Bottom right draft sounds terrible in, in Vintage Cube because you don't get to pick any of the fun cards. Then meatball subs can make themselves. Do you have a system at work that where the meatball subs make themselves? Because if so, I feel like your job is is in jeopardy, my friend. As a, as a manager slash supervisor, how many meatball subs do you personally make at the old at the old sub sub shop? Both my kids have the flu. Can you draft a deck that's so amazing they'll be cured just by gazing upon it? For sure. For sure I can. A solid one-fifth of the Garrick art is upper arm muscle. That is thick. You're right. God, we either have Treachery or Bird of Paradise. Treachery is so good, but then it puts us in a blue. Whereas Bird is like the best. The best of us. Super Fritz. If I come visit you, you're going to have to make me some sandwiches. And I'm going to watch your... And I'm going to record it and I'll vlog the whole experience. Oh, Sylvan Library. See, now we're talking. Now we're talking. <sighs> Treachery is pure gasoline, I agree. But the, the, the desire I have to go blue-green and start picking up enough blue uh, manas to actually cast a double blue spell, I don't care about all that. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Knocking, but you can't come. Is Emery in this cube? Yes, she is. Can we do an Emery Mind Slaver deck? I mean, if we get those two cards and uh, it's not in this particular draft, most likely we can do that. Thank you. What's happening? Scooney Love, what's going on, my boy? Good seeing you. Good seeing you. I like wood. I like Wisp Wood Elemental. I also like Beast Within. What's the what's the pick here, guys? Is it Beast Within, or is it Whisperwood? I took Whisperwood, guys. Long hair don't care. Oh, acidic slime. Oh yes, we're sliming. Get slimed on, Eureka. You guys think Treachery or Wheel? If Treachery wheels, I'll take Lumbering Falls. Can trample. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. T Jesse, what's going on, my dude? Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Long time no see, man. I think it's just ooze here, which is weird because this is a, we're getting a lot of five drops here. Oh look, they have my elder came back. So did scavenging ooze. I like ooze better because you know. Look at this look at these ooze combos. Uh, I like oh wow I have triple ooze now oh I'm just playing ooze tribal I hear you 
right knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, wall of roots? Wow, we got all the green cards back. That's great. I don't get to catch you live too much. Happy to see some mono. Nice. J. John, I appreciate it, buddy. I also appreciate the subs. Boom, boom, boom. Beast within, come on back. Come on back to me, Beast. Oh, Terastodon comes back. Holy Jesus. We also Maelstrom Pulse here. I'm going to take Terasty. Come on, Beast within. Come back to me. Beast within, come back. You can blame it all on me. Rex Sage is main deckable in Vintage Coop, yeah. Okay, so we just literally have 13, 13 playables in our first 13 picks. Eh, Knight of the Reliquary. You're fine. You okay, Knight of the Reliquary? Wow, last pick Heartbeat of Spring, huh? I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Do, 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 do. Time Twister? That's basically power. It's not power at all. Now you're playing with power. We have Wooded Foothills and Windswept Heath. Not too bad with the Sylvan Library. Search for tomorrow, also. Okay. I believe we have all of the oozes that are in the queue. I don't think there's any more oozes. I'll be a bit sleepier at work tomorrow. T. Jesse, awesome, dude. I appreciate you. I think it's search, right? The pod creature lady is a news? What? Is that for real? Oh my god, I knew it was I knew it was gonna be Katie calling. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, I like Course of Portal 2 in the green deck. <sighs> I don't think it's Ugin just because you have two 8 drops already. That's why. I think it's Course of Portal. Having a way to draw multiple cards in the green deck is pretty good. I hear you knocking, but you can't. Oh, tooth and nail. Oh, tooth and nizzle. N -n 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 nizzle. I would like this Golgari signet, but we ain't passing a tooth and nail. Boy, we're getting it all. Sylvan carry at it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I see you knocking, but you can't come in. Oh, Eternal Witness? God dang. That's like, that's just a better regrowth, right? It's one more mana for a creature. You can uh, tooth and nail it. Oh, Oko and Arbor Elf? It's gotta be Arbor Elf. We don't have a ton of elves yet. <gasps> oh my goodness, Katie's in the chat. Ewit and spell Ewit. Hello, in, hello, hello, mean mugger, my love. I, s I see you knocking, but you can't come in, so. Hmm. 
Wall of Blossoms. Oh, you kind of suck. Some good white cards in here. Elspeth, Gideon. This green deck's looking pretty good. I like Sword of Body and Mind. I'm going to take that. And don't forget this Mox Ruby in the sideboard, guys. My six-year-old is jumping on the couch and watching anime. What a world we live in. Is that is that an unusual, like... Well, the Mox is in the board because it's a land. So I'm not going to put it in here because we're counting it as a land and not as a spell. Oh, yeah, we got a Mox on the sideboard. It's true. You know, in case we need it for a certain matchup. Yeah, we're side-decking the Mox from our main board. God, it's so cringeworthy. I can't. Oh, Nature's Claim. That's a nice one. So now we have Nature's Claim and Rex Sage and Acidic Slime. Yeah, if you keep your mocks on the sideboard, it's the most still had all these moment of all time, right? I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Primal Command came back as we might have expected. I mean, all we want in the next pack is Black Lotus, Gaius Cradle, and Rafello, so I don't think that's too much to ask. Yeah, so if we have Karn the Great Creator, we can go into our sideboard, get a Mox Ruby, and it's like basically tutoring a land. It's actually pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's good tech. Wow, the, the other Ewit came back? We have double Ewit? Crazy. We could also play Tooth and Nail for triple Ewit and Primal Command for quadruple Ewit. Den Protector for uh, five Ewits. Oh, Master of the Wild Hunt came back? God, I love that guy. I love that guy. Crazy. Just crazy. Primeval Titan. Huh. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that guy. I'll take that guy. Four mana Garrick. Probably one of the better Garricks you're going to see. So look, let's look at all our Ewits. We have Ewit number one. Ewit number two. Ewit number three. Ewit number four. And Ewit number five. Five Ewits. Of course, we're not playing three of them. I hear you knocking but you're garricking. Do, 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 do. Ancient Tomb seems great here. Ancient Tomb is just ramp boy. I like Green Sun Zenith too. But we have Tooth and Nail. Do we need Green Sun Zenith and Tooth and Nail or is it probably better to just have another land considering we're probably going to run 16 forests here. What up Alan my dude? We could also probably board the not not main deck the side the scavenging ooze. Even though it combos so well with biogenic ooze. Green Sun Zenith or Ancient Tomb. Yeah, we're drafting five wood again. Yeah, I don't think the tomb is coming back. I think the tomb is probably better for our deck. I think this is better than both Harmonize and Basalt Monolith, especially when we have Tooth and Nail. I'm going to take the Emrakul, guys, because I ain't no dummy. Oh, Avenger or Tireless Tracker? Hmm. 
<laughs> Venver? Venger. I think we do have, like, like we already have Primal Titan and Terastin on. I think it's Tracker. I want the card advantage. Yeah, two thing Avenger Creator Hoof, like, like Avenger's not good. The creature's not going to have haste, though. I'm taking Thraggy because you can't come in. I don't know. I, I, I feel like, I hope we can, I hope we can find a Rafelos here or a Gaius Cradle. Those are like the two like integral pieces that you really, really want. But like, also I think our deck is good enough that we don't need them per se. Fofy boy, what's going on my dude? Rafelos, 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 Rafelos. Come on guys, let's get, let's get the Rafelos chant going. Okay, it's not looking good. This pack is interesting. I hate O-Stone. O-Stone kills all my creatures. I'll hate it, though. Rough, uh, los. Rough, uh, los. We have no way to Wrath right now. Yeah, typically mono green decks neither have nor need ways to wrath so I'm not really too concerned with that I think we have like maybe 227, 23 I think this is the last last chance for our fellows this is the last pick last pack we have not seen guys cradle or fellows unfortunately nay I'm taking Garrick. I don't care about Chrome Mox. Well, that's unfortunate. No Rufellos. No Gaia's Cradle. Wilderness Reclamation. That's gas in here. Just kidding. Everything we have is a sorcery. We literally have no cards that can be played in our opponent's turn whatsoever. So that being the case... Edric. Alright, I think you can't come in. I'll take this Flame Tongue Kavu here. Oh, the Green Sun came back. And the Harmonize came back. Well, hot diggity damn. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. Well. This happens every time with the green decks. You guys should not be surprised at this point. Why no love for the big tree man? Well, you see. No, I don't have an answer for you. Okay. Okay. Three cuts. That doesn't include Gary. I feel like we can cut one of these. Cut that dude. Scavenger Goose can go on the sideboard. Uh, I would play 16 lands. I don't think I'd go as far as to play 15. We don't have that much ramp, but our ramp is okay. So we're going to go 14 here. Tomb, Ruble, done. And then we're going to hope we don't get riggedy riggedy wrecked here we don't need emmy i mean we don't it's we don't we don't need it it's true we don't need emrakul i hear you knocking but you can't come in I mean, to be honest, 
I mean, if we draw it, we can tooth and nail it. If we don't draw it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it, man. It's Emrakul. I can't wait to lose to Bribery and Merkel. Wow. I can definitely wait to lose to that. I'm waiting right now. In before Emrakul's in our opening hand. Have yourself a merry little emerald. Oh, this hand is gas. Turn to all of these things. Yeah, boy. I'll be in your opening hand, Frank. Can you milk me? Maybe. D -d 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 Days. Do you like Powerpuff Girls? Just actually used to like the Powerpuff Girls a lot. Not that I don't like them anymore, but I just haven't watched Powerpuff Girls. I, I don't even know if Powerpuff Girls is still on. But yes, Powerpuff Girls is a great show, and it also has an amazing... Uh, rogues gallery which is uh the villains on the show the villains on the show are very interesting look at all the things we've done him is amazing mojo jojo is amazing like i love i love superheroes and superhero shows that have great villains Uh, no blocks. I will not block your shadow, man. Courage the Cowardly Dog was a show I never watched. I think it was like, but I think it was after my time. But Mike swears by it. Mike loves Courage the Cowardly Dog. This stream does have a solid rogues gallery. Wow, that's true. Okay, it's your bird, man. Your bird. Come on, let's 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 find an acidic slime off of this guy. I mean, even if we don't got Chorus of Portal, which is pretty sweet. Okay, okay. Oof. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'll put you on top. Pay for you. One, one, two, three, four, Portal. And we'll play this Elf. Okay, so next time we can keep Emrakul on top and just shuffle it away with Zendikar. Jules going to bed and said, Jules, good night, Jules. Have a great, have a great sleep, I guess. Have a great night. The villains are Mike, YouTube demonetization, and Gutshot. Wow. It's not incorrect. Katie, I didn't even know you're still here. Courage the Carly Dog always scared me. Also, that dog needs some proper care. Wow. Spoken like a true vet. Rob is 100% a villain. Wow. Oh, wow. Shielded. That's frightening. That is terrifying. Oh my. Oh, we're going to draw the Emrakul because of the stupid thing. 
I guess if we tooth and nail. Oh wow, hold on. Let's let's figure some things out, my dude. Oh wait, because we drew it this turn. Oh, put on top. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Put on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna lose a guy. We can play Avenger. Actually, Avenger seems pretty insane here. Uh, one. Do 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 do. This also gives us a ton of things to get rid of with Shieldred. It's true that Mike B has to be a villain. Frank is obviously the protagonist, and Frank and Mike constantly talk about how much they hate each. I no, it's not true. I love man. I love Mike to death, dude. Mike is a friend I care about more than most. Also, Rob's going to be streaming with us tomorrow, guys. So. Hopefully you guys are going to be here for that. Me and Rob will do some cubes and maybe we'll brew a Pioneer deck from scratch. I listen and go Sing it back a Six, seven. I'm just going to take eight here. And the sweetness will not be concerned with me. We're going to actually take a plant because we kind of have to. And if we want to... I come to you at the turning of the tides. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Choose. Put on top. Put it on top. Uh, one... I'm gonna attack with all these creatures. I think they're dead. Oh, scavenging is? Look at you. You're perfect here. All right, all right, all right. I also don't hate Garrick Relentless because it takes out... Uh... Oh, I didn't even know we had the Harmonize in the deck. That's weird. I would have probably played Garrick Relentless over Harmonize. Uh... Oh, what up, Beer Man Man? Enters the room. God, like a true boss. Snap it off. Um, put a land back. I want to keep tooth and nail for sure. I have passed fractured identity in every single draft so far. 
And uh, it's not for lack of loving that card. I think that card is fantastic. Turn one. Oh, they played turn one. I played turn two. They played turn one. Okay. I was like, wait, did I just skip my turn? Must go faster. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's all happening now. Once they Demonic Tutor on turn two, you're like, well, it's all downhill from here, my dude. Well, here we go. Oh, I'll discard a grave, daddy. Oh, Iona. Well, that's that's pretty good. Ah, oh, God. Cool. We literally have scavenging use too. Uh, if we play Nature's Claim and they get they Iona us, we can't actually kill it with with. Uh, we also have Rex Sage and we have Acidic Slime to do that same thing. So I can't imagine. Yeah, like if they go Iona for green. Oh, because it's on the stack. You mean? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good then. Yeah, I like that a lot. Actually, I still, still like a Civic Slime better than the alternative. I actually almost like this hand. I don't think we can keep it. This is a this is a hand though. Turn one ooze. No, turn one wall into ooze. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. I mean, at least I hope we're doing it. <laughs> F you, Otzi, for making us burn ticks every Christmas. Hey, they gotta go somewhere. Immediately after Vinci's Masters makes me hate my wallet. <laughs> I will keep and I'll ship this dude. Do they keep seven? God, what a bunch of monsters. Um, so we can just go land, forest, wall of roots. Ticks, you can't take them with you. Yeah, that's the slogan. Do 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 inspector gadget do 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 hoo hoo Uh huh Inspector Gadget Burn Butter do do Go Gadget Go But I don't know this guy. This guy. Do 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 thin smector gadget. Do 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 do. Hoo hoo. So my thinking for using this is if they have a way to kill this guy, 
then we don't have a land, but then they just kill this guy instead, so that wasn't the greatest. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Destroy the child. Um, we'll play this guy. We'll go one, two, three, four. This dude. Alright, I feel like we're ahead. I feel like we're ahead. They're going to Toxic Deluge for four, and it's going to be terrible. Penny was uh, the real boss. But I think, I'm pretty sure Inspector Gadget was... Uh, uh, like a, a knockoff of not a knockoff but like an homage to Maxwell Smart on Get Smart yes Penny would be Agent 99 yes Oh yeah, give me that wolf. Oh, Good lord. Mother of God. I'm pretty sure based on the number of creatures they play, we're actually just going to attack with these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, that leaves us with nothing to actually... I'm just going to pass here. Case, what's going on, my dude? Good seeing you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Frantic search. Hold on one second. I'm going to blow my nose. Give me a second. I feel like I feel like I got a bug in there somewhere. Bearman man, do you know when the PC version of Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out? Would you know by any chance? I feel like you might. But I'm not sure if you do. But I feel like you might. It's already out. So I guess you know. November 5th. Okay, cool. I'll keep my eyes peeled for it. Oh, werewolves of London. Draw. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we can get things. Um, so one. Two, three, four, five. Gary. Go, 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 Gary. Look at me. I'm in tatters. Werewolf vomits for spooky, scary boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. Uh, 
So does anyone know if I need to actually let my sub run out in four hours in order to resub, or how do I set my Prime to do it? Prime cannot do it automatically. That's the problem with Prime. Because Amazon's giving it to you for free, so they don't want people to just set up their Primes to give away three two fifty a month or $5 a month. Because otherwise I could just talk to all my relatives and be like, set this up for every single month. And then like Amazon or Prime or Amazon and Twitch just lose $5 a month from, from people who would otherwise just forget to do it or like, you know, so it's not really worth like, I don't feel like it's worth it to them to have it auto renew because it's free. You know what I mean? But it is a problem, right? Like, if I have a service where I'm like, hey, every month, if you ask me, I'll give you $10, right? But then if you said, like, hey, can you automatically give me $10 every month? And I'm going to be like, well, no, because maybe some months you don't need it, right? So, like, I'm going to put the burden on you since it's free. Well, they're not giving anything. Yeah, they are. They're giving, like, they're giving $5, right? Or they're giving, well, they're giving streamers, like, my cut would be three fifty of that. So, like, they're giving every streamer three fifty a month, right? I still get paid. I still get paid that. So like for me for me to stream I'm still getting a cut of your subscription. You know what I mean? So like they're paying out every single streamer for for you know whatever the Twitch Prime sub is. So I, yeah, I mean I as a streamer I totally understand why they would not have it auto renew for the free ones. Yeah, they're meeting in the middle. It's a free it's a free product, but you have to the burden is on you to actually use it. I think it should auto renew if I'm watching the stream regularly. Sure, I, I think it should too, but I mean like that's a hard thing to implement. Like what what constitutes regularly and like Oh, see, but saying it's not actually free, like now we're getting into a whole discussion about like what constitutes free um when you pay for a service, right? Like because say I pay for a service, right? Say I pay for Amazon Prime, which I do, right? And every month I have all these these things that are included in Amazon Prime. And now all of a sudden they're like, hey, we're going to add this thing to Prime for free, right? So philosophically, I've already agreed to a set price for a set number of services. So when they add this new thing... You're going to say it's not free because I am paying for a subset of services already. I'm paying you something. You're adding this to the thing. So technically, I am paying for that thing because it's now part of the thing I'm paying for. But Shut alternatively, you did get it for free. It was added. You know what I mean? Let's even that right up at 6 on Mario. Hey, Josh, you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. So, I don't know. I think we're getting more into, like, a philosophical debate about what constitutes... Fuck. God damn it. About what constitute, constitutes free. Adding services is part of keeping it attractive to the customer base. Sure, I agree with you. That does not mean it isn't free, though. That does not mean... Like, those are not mutually exclusive. You can add things to appeal to the customer base, but you're not adding... You're not upping the price. You're not upping the price specifically for that. Uh, what constitutes fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's try again. You'll never stop me from Sullivan librarying. Oh, maybe you will. You're going to daze this guy. But yeah, I don't think you are paying for it the whole time. If the service costs extra on its own and they add it to a to a thing you're buying independently, I don't think that means you're all of a sudden paying for it, right? Like if I'm buying a car for $16,000, let's say, and they're like, hey, we'll upgrade your tires for free. Like now all of a sudden I can't be like, well, I'm paying for the tires because I'm paying you $16,000. You're not though. That would have been, you. Your your price would have been higher without, right? 
But either way, like, I'm not trying to, like, defend Amazon here. I'm just trying to say that, like, I understand why a service is not auto-renew. Because you can just set it and forget it and, like, never watch the stream again, right? How does it feel to get so wrecked? It feels rough. It feels rough that I'm having this conversation while I got double mana tithed. I'll be honest with you guys. Okay, that's two for one. I like it. I like it. What if people were signing for Prime? After the Prime thing is the thing, and that's part of the reason. Well, they're still getting it, though, right? Like, you're still getting the service. So we now have one, two, three, four. We can Avenger next turn. That's pretty cool. They have done a solid job of uh, of stealing my things. Ooh, next turn we can Green Sun for a prime time. My point is that for them to say it comes free with every account is a little consequence. Ninety percent of people in business is their line. Yeah, I agree with that. Sure. Oh, this is two. They took tooth and nail. Hmm. That's exciting. Do 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 do. What are you going to do? This is interesting. There's a lot of things happening here, my dude. They know the two cards in our hand, so they're clearly not afraid of them. Oh my god. I hate it when my thumbprint doesn't register. That's like the worst thing ever. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I think we're just playing our land and green sunning here. Done. Yeah, they have to have mana leak. Remand I don't care about. Alright, they did not. So now we get to go... Prime of the time. So your turn. I bet this guy's dead too, but we got some lands out of it. And that's okay. Okay, Mox Sapphire into nothing but that gives you cryptic command man manus six seven eight untap two lands one two No, 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 knees, knees. Uh, always yes. You got it. I mean, I only got four lands off this guy, so. Two land, two land triggies. And then Garrick is ultimating next turn. 
This is very graphic. <laughs> well, they have one card in hand. They get a bunch of mana from Mana Drain, but... We'll see if they can, you know, kill us, I guess. They could have nothing. They have to have a Wrath, right? What do you think of the new Ashiok? I like it a lot. I think it's, I think it's hot. HOT! Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nope, seven, eight. All right, we have no more lands in our deck. Mono spells, baby. They still have one card in hand, so if we can get rid of this guy. Rex Sage, Acidic Slime. <laughs> Literally cannot brick now. Wall of Roots. I mean, I feel like our boat, we're both in top deck mode, but, you know, our top decks could be significantly better. Literally cannot brick now. Wall of Roots. Arbor Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, LaFoaf, dude. Wow, dude. Wow. Can we cast an Emrakul? Yeah, we can definitely cast an Emrakul, which is pretty insane. Yeah, so every card is live. We have all 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, we have all 15 of our lands in, uh, in play right now. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm just going to hold Arbor Elf here. Is Search still in the deck? Yes. We still have Search. Um... Elves of Deep Shadow? No, that guy's gone. Birds of Paradise. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Alright, we need like one of three cards. We need like Rex Sage, Acidic Slime, or Tooth and Nail here. not lethal it's actually not lethal we get one more draw uh, tooth and nail is under the creature that's why we need a civic slime or reclamation sage to kill the tide hollow scholar or we can just draw crater hoof so we have like three outs here out of 12 cards. We have 25% to hit. Um, Rex Sage would also do it because it gets back. Not Rex Sage, Eternal Witness. Um, yeah, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Amazing. Absolutely. Just amazing. That doesn't do much. Get rid of Arbor Elf, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, one time. Actually, Tireless Tracker will never actually draw us a card. That's hilarious. Shut up and take my money. So what do we need? Nine plus five, I mean 14, right? Hardest of core. Thank you so much for the, for the money. For the, for the money. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. You are awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 mana. We need, we need 14. So we can keep this Arbor Elf. Oh, we actually can't activate this twice or else we die. So I don't think we can't tomb twice. That's... Really unfortunate. So actually, no, we can we can activate the Arbor Elf. 
So we can go one, two, three, four. So we now we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? They have a counter spell. <sighs> Fucking incredible. Well, I guess we'll get rid of Emrakul. It's unbelievable. Mana Tithe, Mana Tithe, Counterspell, Bribery, Emrakul. Cool. Like, what can you do, I guess? Uh, that was game one, right? <laughs> And I'm pretty sure we won our first round, but this was game one. I mean, the only thing I saw Nature's Claim hit would be literally Tide Hollow Sculler. I don't know if that's good enough. I mean, it hit Mox Sapphire, but I don't know if I care about Mox Sapphire. I think I almost like Ooze better because they do have Snapcaster Mage. Yep, that's trash. Okay, that's good. Keep, get rid of... Master seems great. Um, yeah, I can see getting rid of Search here. Garrick also seems great. Like, we, we have two ways to kill, like, a Tide Hollow Sculler. So, if they Tide Hollow Sculler and take one of them, I'd rather have the second one in order to deal with it. So... Definitely don't want to get rid of one of our two forests. That seems like suicide. Especially when we got mana tithe twice in game one. Remand, huh? Okay. The right arrow over and over? What does that do? Does the right arrow do something? get him <laughs> oh 
Oh, what up, Lance? Do you respect Tide the next turn or just slam? Um, depends on what they do. If they keep a if they keep a white up, it's probably we're definitely probably respecting. Now we don't have a choice. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, shoot, shooty tooties. Oh, that's, that's baller. Oh, yeah, what are we doing now, my dudes? Three, three that makes a two, two. Garrick that makes a two, two. They exile our creature. We still have a dude. to attack with let's make wolves well, well they're both doing that alright well Garrick hopefully that'll be harder for them to to deal with I mean we did, we did see this was the match we saw Vindicate and Anguished on making right just to be clear and Night's Whisper okay I'm just gonna slam carry added here. I mean, if they wipe the board, they wipe the board. Like we lose a carry added. We still have Master to come down. We'll still have Garrick and a clue. So we're basically losing these two. Okay. Well, that's good. But we took the Emrakul out. So I guess they get Primeval Titan or Avenger. I feel like those would be the best options. Terastodon. That's also a dude that's in our deck. Hmm. Interesting. You're giving me the three tokens. Okay. So he takes five here if we attack with everything. They block the tracker. They can take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. They also have Celestial Colonnade, so they can like attack with Colonnade and Terastodon. I mean, I guess if they do that, they're dead. But and I feel like they're gonna—they are gonna wipe the board. I feel like, yep, that was pretty bad. <sighs> Should have attacked, I guess. Thank you. Sure. Dimitri, welcome back, man. Thank you so much for the resub. Been unbelievably busy between work and life and missing the stream. Hopefully I'll catch some drafts before QBC season. I hope you do as well. Sure. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Put a counter on it. We'll exile the 
bribery probably sure yeah. all things considered that's not terrible Well, Crater Hoof doesn't do anything here. However, nine plants is pretty good. Especially when this is a plant. That's not bad. How do you not flip your house and burn down your country in response? It's tough. It's tough. Which ooze? Biogenic ooze? I mean, that's putting... Yeah, there is an argument. Like, his next turn, it gives us something to do with all the mana. We can make two more oozes. They're mana tithing their own impulse. So they go to one. And then they replay the... the no, wait. Well, hmm. Okay, they disconnect it again. They have to have one more spell in hand, because this is going to put it down to... Down to one counter. I guess they just find it off the impulse. And then we'll die. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Can you promise you a render rhino if you get the goal? I can't promise that. I can't promise that. I'll have to look into animal. Oh, and they're countering. Okay, so that's the end. Good games. All right. But they were not good games. They were bad names. Well, this is cube number one today. I finished my mono blue cube. That sounds like gas. When oh god, this sounds terrible. Oh, this sounds this this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh, this is just gorgeous. God, if this is a Mox Emerald, can you imagine how much better our deck would be? Mox Emerald Ancient Tomb Tireless Tracker Turn One. Adam, for sure. Post a link to your to your mono blue cube. Once again, the Great Frank falls to a big fan. The cycle continues. It does. It does continue. They literally just happen to have two counter spells, Impulse, with a uh, thing in the ice on board. You know, like you do, right? Like you do. Totally normal.
lot of waiting for the opponents. I feel like this draft, it's we're at an hour and ten minutes. I feel like this draft would be like an hour long if we if our opponents were playing at a reasonable pace. Has anyone built that Star Wars cube I saw on the internet? I don't even know what that is. That's probably just proxies, right? Today, Junior! I will keep. Put that dude back. <laughs> okay. So it's not ancient tomb, it's definitely forest into birds. I kind of want to go Mox Ruby into Tracker, play Ancient Tomb, but that's all we can do. I guess that's fine. Why no turn one search into birds? Because we can't play turn one search. Oh, we can also crack this clue, which is pretty sweet. Do they not have a second land? They give a six card one land hand? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're like almost a tooth and nail. That's pretty cool. Get him. Man, this tireless tracker is doing the work. Here comes Toxic Dailies for five. Oh, just Hero's Downfall. Oh, that's so sad. Why would you kill my little guy? It's my little gentleman, it is. All right, so we're gonna play this. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's unfortunate, we're close. Wall of Roots. Uh, we're gonna go one. Two, three, four, five, acidic slime. Next turn we get to tooth and nail for nine. Uh I'm gonna get rid of the island.
We won the game. They're like, let me take a look at that hand. And I'm like, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 this is gonna be this one. Close that. Um. Why is it so big? Shrink down. Shrink down. Get y'all on one page. Well, close enough. Well, not really. Still a lot. Uh, we can also shrink you down. Why are you so big too? All this space. <sighs> I don't know what they're playing. What do we see? We saw Inquisition, Heroes Downfall. Oh yeah, we're keeping this bad boy as well. Turn one carry added if we hit a land, turn two course the portal. We have two turns to hit a land. Okay. Well, could be bad. Having these three in the hand is bad, but course of portal is really what I'm holding. What the hell? Stirring Wildwood. We have Bayou, Swamp, Island, Stirring Wildwood? What the shit? I'm so excited. I'm just about to finish the last project this semester. I only have one final take before my wife and I get to go to California. Oh, sick. Lance, congrats, buddy. Good work. Hope you enjoy California, my dude. Land. Well, that's kind of like a land, right? Yeah, I love California. Other than the wildfires, I think California is fantastic. Thank you. Bober the Scrober. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, Bober the Scrober. Oh, wow. They didn't bounce our elf. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Do we have anything that can kill this guy? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we just course of portal here. They can bounce it if they want to. That's the right. We'd have to green sun for three here. That doesn't do much. In a force of negation, this that'd be impressive. Okay, well, Gideon. Gideon, Gideon, good, good, Gideon. Okay, still not bouncing the course of portal. I'm very intrigued. So what do we have now? One, two, three, four, five total mana. Sweet Michael B's. Michael B. I guess it's just ooze. It's not super exciting. I mean, on parody, did he book the doctors in the end? Uh, not yet. 
Not to my knowledge. Um, on parity, like if we look at this board, I think we're fine, right? Like this is a fine board to have. Five mana versus five mana, two planeswalkers versus biogenic ooze, and a course of portal. Now we don't have that. Um, four cards to five cards. It all seems reasonable, but yeah, things got a little more dicey. On parity, P A R I T Y. Tireless Tractor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. What do we do with that? Oh, Primeval Titan, duh. I always want to, I'm like, always click this guy first. All right, just untap that dude. Green, green sunny boy. Dunny McSunny. Uh, let's get old primey. Primey McTimey. Land, land. And we could just still with Crater. We could just win with Crater up next turn. Unless they do that. Well, actually, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Still not terrible, but. Any idea why MTGO was always in the deck browser so freaking tiny? No, I have no idea why MTGO does anything. But. I accept it. We are at two life. That's pretty cool. Inquisition. Enjoy your tireless tracker. Well, Ancient Tomb is offline. Why didn't he lethal us with stirring? Probably because he didn't see it. Uh, I will... I will tell you that 90% of the time people don't do something that you think they should do. It's because they didn't see it and you did. There's no trick reason. There's no like, there's no secret. There's no secret reason. It's just because they didn't see it. Because magic's a hard game. Magic is hard, my dudes. Okay, okay. 22. We have one creature that can attack. Let's hit that Carnage button. <laughs> See if they accidentally hit Carnage. They didn't. Dang, they got us. 5, 6, 7... One, two, three, six, seven, eight. We'll have a lot of blockers actually if we do this. I actually kind of like Crater Hoof. Sammy, when did you sound rude? Sammy, I don't ever think you're being disrespectful, dude. I think you're a good dude. All right, so we're definitely getting rid of this and this, right? So that leaves us with four blockers. They can bounce one, so we'd have three blockers. We have to block three creatures. Uh, Gideon is a creature himself, so if we do that, we actually die to Teferi, unfortunately. Because we would have one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four blockers. We actually have to get rid of all of our permanents, unfortunately. Because then we'll have one, two, three, four, five blockers... They can bounce one, and then they'll have one, two, three, four attackers if they don't see the thing. So we're going to have to just get rid of our lands, unfortunately. Yeah, they have stirring, but they didn't see it. So we'll see if they see it this time. Five, six, seven. It also does let us play Crater Hoof next turn if we survive. Uh, the portal keeps us in the game if we... Why do we care about Tooth and Nailing? We have Crater Hoof in hand. What are we Tooth and Nailing? I mean... Thank this you. is five, six, seven, eight. Like we're still fine. Filk money. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, they return that like we thought they would. Ooh, 
Good times are never staring wild wood. Two, three, four, five. They saw the line for the first time in history. Okay. That was fun. I feel like we're just getting lucked out of these games. It's pretty ridiculous. Well, it's not really banter like four colors, but that doesn't change the fact. Do I want to keep this hand? Oh, God. Coercive portal's like the only thing we're... You guys are recommending O-Stone in the mono green deck where all of our permanents, all of our cards are permanents. It's pretty funny. Like, we have no sorceries or instants other than, like, literal tooth and nail and green sun zenith. <laughs> which put other permanents into play, so I have no idea, like... I mean, we're going to kill two planeswalkers, but then we're going to lose, like, five ramp cards and a creature, like just doesn't seem great this is much better one two three four so So we're going to go turn one this guy. We can probably get rid of Ancient Tomb. Uh, stipulations for cube? Yeah, 30 is fine. If that works for you. Uh, there is no Brown Town step. Like, we, we've only done a couple steps so far. Oh, we get to turn two Master of the Wild Hunt. Oh, uh, Oral, I actually did get your stuff. Hold on one second, let me find it. Um, now I can't find it. Nope. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so yours... Why is Stip censored? I don't see Stip censored on my end. Wow. This could be good. <coughs> <coughs> so, Oral, one thing I'm thinking is that, like, it's very hard to do your Stip. I love the idea of it. The Oral Stip is... Uh, it's a 2020 challenge. The goal is something to do something for a meme value of 20 in a single game. Deal 20 damage at once. Create 20 tokens. Take 20 extra turns. Draw 20 cards. Generate 20 mana. Um, that's just a little tricky because that is a lot. That is a, those are big numbers. Man, I'm really glad they had Swords to Plowshares for my for my Master of the Wild Hunt. That's good. I'm on the comment on the last YouTube video about singing in Japan. <laughs> I'll sacrifice carry at it here. Land. Beautiful. Shut up and take my money. Crack this dude. Let's go to Brown Town. Take all Brown Town cards. Choices on how to go up to you. I just love artifacts. Done. Oh, another land. Look at that. Well, I guess we get to attack here. Cassius, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. Hold on one second. Let me close this. Make sure we're popping up on the right screen. We are. Bring you here. Of course, my guy died again because they never don't have removal. That would be just a... Yeah, of course, we hit a land. Just fantastic. <clears throat> just fantastic. We're doing good. We're doing well. I'm a, I'm a fan.
Sylvan Library. Totally a reasonable card for a uh, four-color deck with... Yep, all right. So our our green deck that looked fantastic ends up going one two. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I guess we're not. I guess we're not dead yet, right? There's still time. Yep. Into Gideon. All right, well, let's hit a land next turn, and then we're just going to go Avenger into Crater Hoof. We hit a land, they don't hit a Sweeper. That's all I want, right? So those are two things. Two things that need to happen. They went to 12. That means we're probably dead. Sunny D is gonna burn your throat. That is not a sweeper. Thing 1A and 1B, really. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not, a, that's not a land. Jesus, they get one more turn? Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, I guess they get to go... Well, now it's like two cards deeper. Oh, God, the one time we want land is the time we don't get land. Well, Frank, to be fair, statistically, you have 15 lands in your deck instead of 17, which lowers the odds of you hitting a land, especially when you have six in play. It means you only have nine actual lands left in your deck out of 27 cards. That's a one-third. You only, you only get one-third. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's actually fine. Oh, God. As long as they don't have a counterspell. There's no counter spell. Oh, you're gonna get in there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. Ancestral aft well, that's that's impressive. Okay, guys, well. I'm not even doing math here. No days, no mana tithe. Pow. And then we go 2-1. Two, 2? Two. Can we 2-1 here? Can Papa get a 2-1? Papa was a rolling stone. That's fine. I do not think that does what you think it does. These guys are letting us... Well, Avenger into Craterhoof, I guess that does 2-1. I, I made a mistake when I said we were going 1-2. I was tilted. I was frustrated. I apologize. Anything can happen in the Vintage Cube. Keep that in mind. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon.com. Slash Frank. For one or two dollars a month is great way to support the channel. You can also check out Manatraders.com. We have the promo code and link in the description. That gets you 20% off the first three months of any subscription. We can also go to CoolStuffInc.com. Every Wednesday I have a new article. You can use the promo code Frank5 to get 5% off your purchase. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.